Welcome to the Mud Devon Show. Yes, heavy rains on the previous day had turned the showground at Nightsays into something more of a mud bath. But organisers of the 24th event of its kind were determined not to let a bit of the wet stuff dampen the day. That has been about the most well trying of all the years we've had so far. And 24 hours ago, when the rain was teeming down, I was going round the show field telling traders that the show is on, and I was met with incredulity. They said, you're not serious. I said, I am serious. We do not cancel. We will go ahead. And we've gone ahead, and we've been blessed with much better weather today than was ever forecast. And it was a good job too, as despite the mud, the weather remained kind and visitors were able to take a look at some of the best livestock, food stalls and crafts that Mid Devon has to offer. There was also entertainment aplenty, with the music and dance pavilion providing some foot-tapping tunes and showcasing local talent throughout the afternoon with compare Doug Parrish. It's gone very well indeed. Uh, it's the third year actually that I've, as you probably know and the, and the, the people listening to this will know, uh, I took over from Tony when he sadly passed away. And uh, it's a new role for me. And uh, I thought, well, no one will ever, uh, you know, follow Tony. So I just gone there and, and uh, presented it in my own way, being my own person, really, yeah. Back at the main arena, there was much more happening, with headliners this year being the Motor Stunts International, who wowed the crowds with their tricks and daring displays. Fantastic in the arena, but outside the arena with the, with the wet weather from yesterday, it's been really wet and muddy. But once we're in the arena, as you can see, it's been fantastic, and we've uh, had a fantastic show here. What are the crowds like at the Mid-Devon show? Oh, you can't beat a Devon crowd, coming from Devon myself, you know, uh, you, you can't beat them. The event also saw businesses and organisations from across the region meet customers and showcase what they have to offer. One such organisation was the Mid-Devon Attractions Association, who used the event to officially launch their campaign to boost the profile of the district's attractions. We are getting a great response from the viewing public as well. They're coming in today. We're also doing a two-for-one offer at Cold Harbour Mill as well. Uh, and it's going really well. We're getting some terrific reactions from everybody. Um, and we're also involved, of course, in the uh, branding also of Mid Devon. And that's what we're working on at the moment to try and sort of show people that live here and that visit the area that it's a wonderful place to be and live and enjoy. This year's show charity were Devon Communities Together, a rural community development organisation helping communities to help themselves. So whatever rural communities want to achieve, what their challenges are, they can come to us and we'll help them find a solution. And how are you finding it today? With the mud, you're braving the mud? Yeah, we're braving the mud. It's, uh, it's uh, you know, it's been a good day. We've been absolutely delighted. You know, it's been great people coming in. A good opportunity to talk about our work as well as raise a bit of money for the charity. And as three o'clock approached, it was time for the Grand Parade of Livestock. And presenting the prizes this year was the show's president for 2017, the Bishop Sarah Mullally. Oh, it's been absolutely great. I mean, clearly we've had a bit of rain, but the community has worked together and it's just been absolutely brilliant. For you, what have been the highlights this year? Oh gosh, well, for me the livestock is always, I always enjoy watching the livestock judging. It's a real measure of the skill that we have in our communities. And of course I love the, uh, you know, I love the children and the way they interact uh, with all the events. So those really, the livestock and the way the children have really enjoyed themselves. Just how important it is to have this agricultural show here for, for the region? Oh, I think it's so important. It's about bringing community together and, you know, people meet up, old friends make new friends, but also it's about connecting people people who maybe have lost touch with their rural heritage of this wonderful part of the country. So people rediscover what our rural and agricultural uh, living really is all about. And at the end of the day, it was time to wash all that mud off our boots in the town's leet and look forward to the 25th show, which, fingers crossed, may be just a little more summery. Lewis Clark, Devon Live, Tiverton.